Hello all. Today, I want to talk about the Light Assault and make a guide of sorts on how to play the Light Assault because it's been five years since I made the last one and uh, a lot has changed in that time. So the Light Assault is, for new players, it's your jetpack class. It's got a ton of maneuverability, a ton of agility. You can really move around however you want to because thanks to your jetpack, you have incredible mobility over every other class. However, while your guns are good, they're not they're not always some of the best, and it can take some skill to learn how to position without just getting domed in the head as soon as you try and do something. Overall though, generally the starting weapons for the Light Assault are relatively good, and it's a, just a very enjoyable class to play. It's fun just to be able to move around, jetpack around, go where you need to, go where you want to, without having to try and find a location to lug your legs up. So the Light Assault is really outlined by a couple of key features. You have your carbines, you have your shotguns, and you have your rocket rifle. And of course, your jetpack. We'll be going through each of these as well as some other things and just what I recommend. Uh, this is how I like to play my light assault. Uh, this is what I'd recommend for new players. And yeah. So starting off, obviously your primary. Your starter carbines are fine. The Solstice, Mercenary, uh, Track 5, and CB100 are all fine starters. However, while I would not advise buying weapons as a new player, eventually some carbines you might want to go for are the CBX75 on NSO the Pulse RC and the VX6 Tac 7 on Vanu, the Bandit and the ACX11 on NC, and the Jaguar and the Kindred on TR. They are all good carbines that will serve you well, having different purposes, but do not be in a rush to buy them. Your starter weapons are more than fine, they're comfortable to use, they're nice to use, and most importantly, they're free. You start with them. Of course, as a new player, you're probably going to get drilled anyway, you'll probably just die, and you'll feel like it's the weapon. It's not the weapon. Trust me. As a new player, it's going to be a really, really rough game to get into, and you're just going to have to deal with that. It's going to suck, it's unfortunate, but that's just the way the game is. Your secondary, your starter pistols are all fine. It, it Later on, you'll want to go for certain pistols, but your starter pistols are all fine, it's not worth grabbing a new one right off the bat. Your rocket rifle is your special class item. It is very good, but it is very strange to use at first. So basically, the way the rocket rifle works is if you press mouse, uh, if you press the leftmost button, you fire one rocket. If you press the right, you'll mag dump the rest of them. In general, the rocket rifle is very good for finishing off vehicles or just poking vehicles in general. And your standard rockets have a uh, flak, so if you shoot them at aircraft, it will detonate on them and deal sound damage. Not a lot, but it's still nice to have. Uh, notably, the rocket rifle just gives the light assault a lot of extra utility, lets you blow up vehicles that may be low on health, or just annoy other ones. It also pairs very well with C4, which we'll be talking about soon. For your ability, you have four different jets available. Skirmishers are fine. They're extremely well-rounded. They're what I have run since I started playing the game. I love them. They're very well-rounded. They let you do pretty much anything you might need to. And the other jets are good for different situations. For example, drifter jets are very good at going horizontal distances, but they don't really go up vertically at all. Icarus are the exact opposite. They'll go straight up and straight down, but you can't really move horizontally and you don't have a lot of fuel. Ambushers, on the other hand, will basically rocket you in the direction that you need to go, but then you have a long cooldown. So they're fine, they're just a different playstyle. I would heavily advise sticking with and upgrading your skirmishers though, because they're extremely comfortable to use, they're extremely well rounded, and they'll just work for you. For your suit slot, I would go for advanced shield capacitor. It should already be your starting uh, freebie, if I remember correctly, and it's good. It's comfortable to use, it's basically just a free buff where your shields will just regen faster and they'll start regenerating faster. They're very nice to have. Most of the other picks here are also fine if you're a more experienced player. Flak armor has its uses, the ammo belt has its uses. But I'd probably just stick with the advanced shield capacitor because you get the max rank for free anyway, and it's just nice. It's it's always in effect, basically. It will just always be helping you. Your standard frags will be fine. However, if you're really looking to get into light assault, I would highly, highly recommend picking up the impulse grenades. Because what the impulse grenades do is when you throw them, they bounce you away. They can also bounce other players, but you probably won't have a lot of luck with this. They're very, very nice to use, especially once you learn how to use them to move around quicker, and you can rocket yourself into different locations using these impulse grenades. They're just very nice to have. You carry two of them by default, and you can gain more of them if you choose to run Grenade Bandolier. In your utility slot, you'll start with Auxiliary Shield. 
it's fine. It will just basically let you take an extra bullet before you die, but eventually you will want to swap it out for either C4 or medkits. Medkits, upon buying, will go to all your classes, which means that you, as long as you buy one medkit, one med you'll have one medkit on all your classes, which is very, very nice. Having a few of these can easily save you. They give you quick health really, like, really quickly. And in general, they're nice to have. C4, on the other hand, uh, if you buy it, it will only buy it for the light assault. But when you get two bricks of these, you suddenly gain a lot of vehicle killing power. For example, two C4 bricks is usually enough to blow up a tank, and you can just finish them off with a rocket rifle. Same goes for Sunderers, same goes for most vehicles. Of course, it will be hard to hit some vehicles like Harassers and Flashes, but if you find a Sunderer, you can chuck two C4 bricks onto it, rocket rifle it once or twice, and it should die. Which means that if you run C4, you have a lot of vehicle killing power in your late assault, and this really cannot be understated. There's a reason some people run drifters and say bail out of aircraft to blow up sunders because it's so, so effective as a light assault. I personally prefer medkits, but this will largely come down to your own playstyle. Figure out what you like, figure out how you like playing your light assault, and go from there. Of course, your knife doesn't matter at all. Implants. The light assault is not super implant heavy, but there are ones that are nice to have here. Personally, Assimilate and Athlete are my go-to picks. I sometimes switch Athlete for Cat-like. The reason for this, Athlete will just give you faster sprint acceleration and deceleration. It's just nice to have, especially if you're going to be constantly jump jetting everywhere. Assimilate is also very good because if you get a headshot kill, you immediately regenerate shield. However, this is quite skill dependent because you need to be headshotting. So it's not a must have, especially if you're new to the game. Other implants I would recommend, honestly, your starters are all fine. Cat-like is nice if you find yourself crouching a lot, especially if you're perching up on rooftops to try and farm people down below. And in general, most implants will work fine here. Safe Fall is also good if you play Ambushers, because they'll make it significantly harder for you to kill yourself with them. Sidewinder is fine. Most of the implants here work on the Light Assault. I personally just lean towards Athlete, Cat-like, and Assimilate, but figure out what works for you. So, of course, now into some live gameplay, because that's the way we do things around here. It is currently 6.25 on Hassan on a Sunday night. We're going to the Ziggurat, and I'm just going to kind of try and show how I play my Light Assault, how I'd recommend playing the Light Assault. Uh, I'm on NSO, so you will see NSO guns here, but it's no different. You'll, of course, play your Light Assault similarly on every single class, on every single faction. So, of course, Light Assault, as I mentioned, you have very, very good verticality over everyone else. In fact, that's your biggest advantage. And I get shot in the head. Unfortunate. Still looks like a decent fight. Doesn't look like there's really anywhere else I can go that's more favorable. Take the revive. So as I mentioned, impulse grenades give you a boost. Learn how to abuse these, and you can move places very, very quickly. You can also use them to get out of places very quickly. Of course, it is worth noting that they are rather expensive to use extremely often because you won't be regenerating nanites fast enough if you're burning through them constantly each life, but it's something to be aware of. So now, because we're a light assault, obviously we can just jetpack up onto this roof, shoot players down below, dip back for cover, and not have to worry about exposing ourselves too much. That roof seems like it's getting a little stagnant, so we're going to jump jet over to the other one. Try and put some damage in. No luck, no dice. In general, this is... Not a great fight. And unfortunately, trying to peek that rooftop exposes us extremely heavily to people down here, but it is what it is. So instead, I'm going to take a different path, I think. Since we have such good mobility, we not, need not worry about the walls. That was a very disappointing impulse grenade. It takes some time to get down. It takes quite a bit of time to get down. And in general, playing the light assault, it will take some time to figure out what you can get away with and what you can't. For example, I can now zip up onto this wall and I can sit here, so I don't have to fall all the way down to the bottom and burn up all my fuel trying to get back up. Got pretty lucky there, all things considered. It's worth noting that if you use carbines, they have significantly better in-air accuracy compared to other weapons. So you can engage other players in the air because your hipfire accuracy isn't that bad, unlike with shotguns or submachine guns if you choose to run them on your light assault. However, for a new player, I would highly advise sticking with your starter carbine, simply because it's good. It's a good way to learn how weapons work, and just start improving overall. 
I like that angle. I'm gonna try and take that angle again on the next spawn, I think. Just to, just to see, but just to see. Because we're not being exposed to everyone over on that lane while we, while we take the flank. And that is really the Light Assault's greatest strength at the end of the day. You have supreme mobility and agility to every other class. And once you get uh, used to base design and how to play your Light Assault, you will in general be able to attack from positions that your enemies weren't expecting. And you can usually rack up kills quite easily this way. This is not a very good base to be demonstrating that, unfortunately, because it's the Ziggurat. But uh, some examples of where Light Assault Shine is tower bases. Uh, if you're new to the bases that have multiple floors, big towers, that's why they're called tower bases. They are very, very good for Light Assaults because you can rapidly get around each level of the tower without needing to take elevators. Which, once you know what you're doing, can be used to tower stomp, as I like to call it, and be able to farm efficiently. Unfortunate. Alright, I think that's probably a decent place to call it. I don't want to make this too long. Uh, in conclusion, Light Assault. Good class to learn. Uh, can be a little punishing if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, it's very safe for a new player. It doesn't cost any certs to get going because you already start with one of your best suit slots. Your standard jump jets are good. Your standard carbines are good. And you get your rocket rifle right out of the box. However, it will take some time learning how bases work and how to move around for the Light Assault to truly shine because the Light Assault shines in positioning, agility, movement. You won't be able to win one-on-one uh, -on -one fights versus classes like the Heavy Assault, but you can easily get around them, flank them, and drop on them before they see you, and you can kill them before they can shoot you. And that's Light Assault's true advantage over everyone else. Still, I like it, it's my favorite class to play, and I highly advise that new players at least try it, because, you know, who knows, you might enjoy booshing around and shooting people in the head from angles they surely did not expect. Thank you all, and I will see you.